so it's nearly undercoat time. Seeing as this might be a little bit different from the actual prime, I'm just going to time it through the uh, viscosity cup, see how much thinner I need to uh, get it done. I've got some new plastic wrapping up the pan underneath there. The old stuff had paint flakes that were just splintering off and going everywhere. Got me new thermometer, looking at uh, 14 degrees on there. Don't see that very often nowadays. Still trying to work out how the Bluetooth works on it though. Tell a lie, there's one. And there's another one. I'm just wet sanding back some runs off of this undercoat. I've gone a little bit, a little bit dark there. That's quite a big run there, but I am well impressed with this undercoat. I mean, even now, it's just repelling the water off differently to what the uh, actual primer did. That's now all wet sanded with uh, 400 grit I went for in the end. I'm just gonna go around it once more, and see if there's anything that needs doing. And uh, I think we're nearly there, nearly there for the, uh, Zenith Blue. Now what I'm going to do, I think, is just finish off the wet sanding that I haven't done around the engine compartment and the luggage area up underneath there. And then I think she's ready for um, a coat of uh, the Zenith Blue. Now I think I'm going to do the lower sections first just to test it out, see what it looks like. Oh, I do like that colour. Needs a little more mixing though. So that's his first coat and that colour is, to me, absolutely gorgeous. So far, I don't think I'm going to want to put a clear coat on that, but we'll see how that dries off. Getting the sanding started, and I've got a few runs, very small runs, just around this uh, grill at the rear. Now, it's because I was basically just trying to blow the paint right inside there. So, it's just a few. Get them sanded with uh, 600, see that there. There's an area that the gun hasn't quite covered, just on the initial inside edge all the way along there. So I'm hoping that I've uh, still got a little airbrush that I might be able to blow in there. It's got a smaller nozzle than the actual spray gun that I'm using. Quite a big run under there that you can see that I've sanded away now. That's nice and smooth. Now the big debate that I'm having with myself is that now that colour paint's on, there's an indentation right where that new A-pillar section's been welded in. I can see it, um, whether or not anyone else will, but I might have to sort that out before I go any further. There you go, just sanded that area back with a uh, flat block, and you can see where that area is a lot lower. So I'm just gonna put a little something in there. I hope this works out all right. God. There it is then, back to where I started, and that whole grey area there. A low spot that I missed, can't believe I missed it. That's done the trick, I've been able to uh, get in there better than before, and uh, nice little tool. Initially bought it for me, uh, what I have to do, some cake decorating, believe it or not and uh, it ended up in the garage. Just thought of another little job before I get any further with the paint. Now you'll see that hole there. That's so my uh, fire extinguisher bracket can fix to that. Now it actually goes up underneath that um, footwell area. So I'll drill that hole out. Obviously not putting it in yet, but that'll be accepted right there now. So that coat's all wet sanded down with, again, 600. 
That's another coat done. I can see a couple of little runs already, but nothing to worry about. I've got a few marks right across the roof line there. Looks like I've sort of maybe dripped a bit of a prep clean across the roof line when I was cleaning it and not wiped it off maybe. I don't know what that is. This court has come out quite good, although I've got to run there again. I've had to blow some paint in there. I had to wipe the panel because I had a drop of water fall out of my mask onto it. And also a run right there. But I'll get it. Looks like I might be getting ahead of myself a little bit here. Just got all this delivered. The uh, headliner, all the felt and the adhesive to get that done. Actually went for the uh, off-white colour. I think it will uh, complement this paint job a little bit better than the actual uh, bright white. Now I'm a little bit nervous of uh, getting this colour sanded. And uh, I know it's going to look like I'm taking a step backwards rather than forwards but uh, once it's all polished hopefully that'll look the nuts but i'm going to let this paint cure before i do anything else so until then make it better than it was and i'll see you on the next one